Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to model a tubular transmission tower using the SAFI TSC application. SAFI TSC is a leading structural engineering software for the analysis and design of various tower structures. The software accounts for the advanced structural analysis and design of steel lattice transmission towers, electrical substations, telecommunication lattice towers, guide mass, tubular poles, and multi-pole frames according to the latest American and Canadian standards such as TIA-222H, TIA-222G, CSA S37-18, ASCE 10-15, and ASCE 4811. In this example, we are going to model a self-supporting single-pole structure. This example was based on the first example from the manual number 72, appendix 1. We will learn how to create the structure, define the anchor rods and base plates, how to generate loads and load combinations, run the analysis and display the different graphical and numerical analysis results, and finally, how to display the design check results. First, let's start by creating a new file. We will set the unit system to Imperial Units. We then click OK to validate. We start by defining the 12-sided, regular, polygonal sections. Tubular sections are defined as non-standard sections in SAFI TSE. For this example, the material used is a standard ASTM A572-65 steel. Use the Materials command from the Tables menu to select this material from the SAFI Material Standard Library. The next step will be to create a tubular section using the non-standard sections command. We will first create the 12-sided tubular section. First, we select the material A572-65. Then, we select the section type tube, 12 sides. Finally, we specify the top and base diameter of the tube. The first section will be assigned to the base part. We then create two more sections for the top and the arms This pole is 95 feet in height with three side arms. First, we start by specifying the joints of the base and the top of the pole using the joints command from the tables menu. If you click on the arrow down button, you can add a new row to the list. Next, we use the add member command to create the members. We assign a fixed support condition to the base of the tower by double clicking on the bottom joint. We assign the sections to the base and top members by simply double clicking on each member. The next step will be to subdivide the column using the subdivide members command. In this dialog box, we can choose the global coordinate subdivision method. We will fill this table and validate. The section assigned to the original member will be assigned to the new members with the corresponding start and end diameter. The last step is to create the members for the arms. We select these three joints. Then, we click on the Move Copy Extrude button. We select an extrusion operation and we specify the displacement. Finally, we click on Extrude to create the arm members. 
we assign the section to the members of the arms in a similar way. For the structural analysis, members, for which a tubular section with variable inertia is associated, are analyzed as prismatic members with constant inertia. To increase the analysis precision, the member must be subdivided as we did in this example. The subdivision of the member may be performed at any time before the analysis. To select the design check standard, we click on the design code and standard parameters button on the tubular toolbar. We select the ASCE 48 standard from the drop-down list. This standard does not explicitly specify the reduction factors. The default values can thus be modified. The SAFI TSE anchor rod and base plates command allows you to define the anchor bolt patterns and the base plate patterns. In this dialog box, we select an anchor rod diameter. The material properties can be filled automatically if we use a standard material for the anchor rod or the base plate. We specify the distance between the steel plate and the concrete. The last step is to define the anchor rod patterns. The wizard button allows you to quickly generate the bolt's layout of the perimeter of the bolt's circle. The diameter of the bolt's circle and the total number of bolts must be defined. For this example, we will use six anchor rods. The anchor rods will be distributed symmetrically with respect to the center of the bolt circle. The bolt distribution method must also be selected. When the distribution method selected is pattern distribution, the spacing of the bolts on the bolt circle must be specified. We then click OK to validate. It's now time to generate the loads and the load combinations. First, we click on the basic loads button and we will create seven basic loads. Next, in the load combination dialog box, we create three load combinations, NESC light, ASCE combined ice and wind, and broken conductor. It is possible to automatically generate load combinations according to specific codes using the load combination wizard. Now it's time to assign the loads. Click on the self-weight button on the general loads toolbar. Select the basic load self-weight and specify the value minus one in the Y direction. The dead weight of the pieces is considered a uniformly distributed load on the member. This is automatically generated by SAFI. The dead weight is defined by the global coordinate system. Go ahead and click OK to validate. Next, we will define the wind profiles. For this example, we will use two wind profiles with uniform wind pressure. Click on the wind profile button on the general loads toolbar. Select uniform pressure in the distribution method options. The last step is to specify the wind pressure. Many code-based wind distribution methods are also available including ASCE 74, 
NESC IEC 60826 CSA C22.3 60826. We create the second wind profile by simply duplicating the first one and editing the wind pressure. Now, it's time to add the wind loads. Click on the Tower Wind Loads button on the General Loads toolbar. We then select the basic load and wind profile. Finally, we select ASCE 74 from the drop down list for the force coefficients by members options. We will then add two other wind loads in a similar way by duplicating the first tab and editing the basic load and wind profile options. Finally, we add the broken conductor loads as concentrated loads on the tips and the arms of the top of the pole. Click on the Add Joint Load button on the General Loads toolbar. Select the first joint and specify the conductor loads. Click Add when it is done. Add the joint loads to the other joints in a similar way. We can see the display graphically in all the generated loads and load combinations. SAFI TSE provides detailed wind and ice table loads including all the factors used to compute the wind pressure and ice thickness. To display wind loads on the tower in the numerical tables, we will use the command member wind loads on the general loads toolbar as well. In this case, the different numerical results can be filtered before being displayed. Depending on the requested type of results, the filters will be activated or deactivated such as elements and basic loads. Click on this button to analyze the model and design check the members according to the ASCE 48-11. We select a nonlinear analysis and set the number of steps to 20. Then, we select verification tubular ASCE 48-11 in the design option. Other types of analysis are available in SAFI TSE such as P delta analysis, nonlinear analysis, frequency analysis, buckling analysis, and seismic analysis. We then click on the run to perform the analysis. Graphical analysis and design results in SAFI can be displayed for all load combinations or a selection of them. We can select which load combination will be displayed from the load combination button on the results toolbar. This dialog box can be left open while displaying the graphical results. We will check the box in the analysis section of the results toolbar. We can see the internal deformations are displayed on the tower. Different analysis results can be displayed graphically such as the internal forces, reactions, and stresses. Another interesting way to display results is through animation. Press the animate button on the static analysis dialog box to start animation. For nonlinear analysis only, we can display deformations for each load steps through animation and diagrams. Analysis results can be displayed as well in numerical tables. The numerical results may be filtered before being displayed. It is also possible to filter the displayed results to the selected elements or to display them for the entire model. It is also possible to display the results for a specific load combination. In addition, we can display the results on individual members using the analysis element results on the results toolbar. This command allows you to view the selected results at any calculation point in any element in the model. The window is made of a graph and a table. The settings button allows you to change the graph title and the axis title as well as the title fonts. The two print buttons allow you to respectively print the numerical results table and current graph. The copy button allows you to copy the image of the graph to the clipboard to use for external applications. The design check results are presented under the form of colors corresponding to a percentage of design criteria. To display the results, select the type of results wanted in the upper section of the Tower Display Results Options dialog box.
it is also possible to view the numerical results for limit states for the entire structure or a part of the structure through tables. We click on this button in the Telecom section of the Results toolbar. Then, we select from the displayed menu which type of limit state to view. We can display the compression, tension, bending, shear and torsion, combined compression and bending, and combined tension and bending limit state results in numerical tables. The anchor rods verification and base plate design are also available in the results tables. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Safi's YouTube channel and visit our website www.safi.com to stay updated on the latest features of the software.